climate change is no longer a future concern. It's here. Today, greenhouse gases are at historic levels, with carbon dioxide comprising 81% of greenhouse gas emissions. In 2019 alone, 37 billion tons of carbon dioxide were released into our atmosphere from fossil fuel combustion such as cars, trucks, and industry. How do we put that much carbon back into the soils where it came from? How do we sequester carbon into the Earth's natural carbon pool to restore a sustainable balance? In addition to decreasing the use of fossil fuels, another big part of the solution is literally living right under our feet, in the soils. New farming techniques and biological inputs help depleted soils, like these, come alive. They help plants absorb more carbon dioxide from the air, and soils retain more nutrients and water to help grow more food. It turns out nature's fascinating self-healing process, assisted by carbon farming, just might be the key to our very survival. A century of legacy farming techniques have degraded soils around the world, contributing to climate change. Today, a staggering 40% of the land used for agriculture is either degraded or seriously degraded, decreasing food production. New research suggests that we'll need to increase food production between 25 and 70% to meet food demand in 2050. And we'll need to produce all that food with no additional land. Who's going to figure out how to sustain the soil to grow all that food? And how? If you ask someone like Clayton Anderson, who farms 1,400 acres near Statesboro, Georgia, carbon farming is the key. I farm five to 10 times what my father farmed. It's been in my family, best I can tell, seven generations. The difference in the way I farm and the way my father farmed is that I have no tillage equipment, no hairs, no discs, nothing that disturbs the soil at all. Just as fast as the peanut combine gets out of there and the cotton picker gets the cotton picked, I'm right behind it planting a cover crop. Just the act of growing a cover crop in the wintertime, we're pulling pollutants from the air, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and storing it in the ground in the form of carbon and releasing oxygen back in the air. And so we're cleaning the air and the water for everybody. Healthier soils host a diverse community of microbes called the microbiome. This microbiome makes for healthier plants and a greater capacity to sequester carbon. So, what will it take to restore degraded soils to their natural balance of biodiversity? Dr. Jack Gilbert explains the symbiotic relationship among soil health, the carbon cycle, farming, and climate change. The carbon cycle is the movement of carbon between the air, the water, the soil, and then the plants and animals like uh, the crops and you or me. It's the movement of this economy of carbon that's so important to understand, and it's driving climate change. What we need is to revolutionize how we perform agriculture, how we manipulate the soils and the crops we're trying to grow to drag that carbon out of the atmosphere and put it underground. In combination with other soil management practices, we have the opportunity to rebalance the microbiome, sequestering more carbon and improving the health of our soils and our planet. The absolute necessity of restoring soil health is clear. And the surprising truth is that the unimaginably huge issues caused by climate change can be addressed by some of the tiniest life forms on our planet. How can we mobilize these mighty microbes to help heal billions of acres of farmland? Well, a team of scientists at Valent Biosciences has come up with some real practical solutions. Getting to a healthy soil is a multi-pronged approach that includes conservation tillage, it includes a cover crop program so that you have live plants and live roots in the field at all times to keep that microbiome active and healthy. And it also includes using soil inoculants like MycoApply. These technologies help to create stable soil aggregates which resist wind and water erosion. You'll also have a higher water holding capacity. Now, over the long term, you're also going to have a soil that will sequester carbon. BBC has a team of scientists that are dedicated to researching soil microorganisms 
understand how they act in the, in the soil, how they interact with each other, and how they work to enhance the growth of the plant as well as the health of the soil. As the agricultural community begins to take action on soil health, together we can tackle some of the world's biggest challenges. MycoApply products from Valent Biosciences can help farmers by inoculating their soil with arbuscular mycorrhizal fungi, or AMF. These microbes make a substance called glomalin, the glue that boosts the soil's ability to stick together, store more carbon, water, and nutrients, and produce healthier, more abundant crops. Better for growers, better for consumers, and better for our planet. For more information on soil health and the MycoApply line of AMF inoculants, contact Valent Biosciences.